Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video um, of one of the flash relays I have. This is a Union switch and signal style FN-16 uh, relay. Um, I've seen a few other videos on YouTube um, demonstrating how these work. Um, this is just going to be my perspective on it. But I also want to show you um, just how you can wire up um, actual uh, lights to it to make it actually work. Um, it's the one thing I was looking online. I saw the other videos. Uh, I was trying to actually figure out how to uh, hook up the actual lights to it. Didn't see it, but um, ac after playing around with a little bit and not uh, help with one of my uh, friends who uh, works in the business, was able to show me. So I just want to give you a quick tutorial on how to do it. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice here, so I apologize with that. But again, it's the FN16. Hey, of course, I can't get to focus there. Uh, uh, there. Yeah, that's well. Good thing I'm going to get right there. Um, so on the top here, you've got a few different leads. And I will pull this back out here so you guys can see a little bit better here. So on the top here, you've got your, your coils on the, the left and the right here. You've got these washers in the center here. And what these washers do, the more washers you put in, um, I believe it either decreases or increases the flash rate. I'm not quite sure I haven't messed around with the washers, but by adding these or deleting these, you can um, increase or decrease what the flash rate of the actual unit will be. Um, on the back here, you've got, again, it's kind of hard to, uh, you've got your um, a positive lead over here, and you have your uh, negative lead over here. When I originally hooked this up, I just hooked the power source up, um, positive and negative, but um, to my 12-volt uh, battery charger over there uh, to, that runs off of 10 amps. Um, but when I did that, I got the unit to um, rock back and forth um, inside, but I couldn't get any lights to light. So after some help with one of my friends, I figured out that I had to jumper the, uh, the leads here, one here to this set over here. Um, which is going to be, I believe, um, that's going to be your FL positive, um, or your positive leads. And then on this side, the same thing, took the main wire coming in off the battery uh, charger right there and jumpered it to these set of leads, which are going to be your um, FL negative. Now I know these little red ones say um, positive on it, and these other ones say negative. Um, and the main lead coming over here is negative, and that one's just positive. Um, but I was essentially told that with these, it doesn't really matter. It's going to create the same um, voltage. Uh, anyway, if anyone's watching this and it's going to correct me when I'm wrong when I say that, um, I apologize. But I did get it to work, so I, I guess that's the main thing. And then the center, this is going to be your neutral tabs. So what I have here, I have actually two railroad lights. These came off of actual railroad uh, signals. Um, I just pulled the actual light heads out. So what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, just how this works. So I've got my one light here. So I'm going to hook one end up to um, the positive lead right there. And this one's going to be one of the neutral. I'm going to take my other one and I'm going to check out the right one. There we go. So I'm going to hook this up to um, the hot terminal, I guess if you want to call it that. And then the other one to a neutral. Now these are all jumper together, so I can put it here or here, so I can put it here in the actual wall tying together. So now I've got my two lights hooked up to it. So now, when I come back and I plug in the uh, negative lead here, I'm going to just set this down here so I don't break it. But when I plug it in, I get to work without sparking too much. It's sensitive. As you can see, now I've got my two alternating lights. Now you can hook this up to, again, it's a 12 volt system. Um, I want to say this runs at uh, anywhere between 10 and 12 volts. Um, again, what I have here is a 10 amp, um, it's hard to see the light there, it's a 10 amp um, 
essentially a marine deep cycle battery charger. But that will get the lights to function at the uh, correct outage or back and forth. So, um, yeah, it, it's kind of a cool. I'm glad I finally got it to, uh, to work. I have a second one of these units, which is actually on my rail crossing set up in my backyard, which I'm still kind of working on right now. Winter hit, and unfortunately, I kind of came to a standstill with that. Oh, yeah, one quick thing before I forget here also. Um, I, um, with all of the different relays and switches that I've gotten over the last uh, year or so, um, what I did was I created a little manual here. And inside here, I've got all these different tabs for all the different relays I have. Um, so I've got my FN16A um, relay information. I've got my, um, it's hard to kind of see with the light there, sorry. Um, I have my DN11 neutral relay information. I have a Safe Train SCC, SSCC plus cross control information, um, battery charger, all that kind of stuff. But speaking with the FN16, um, you can go online, and I'll actually put the link into the description of the video here. And in here, if you decide to get one of the FN16 relays, um, you can get the manuals online that talk about just the unit itself, how to oil it, how to um, perform maintenance on it. Um, and then also, we'll give you, you know, kind of a schematic of the, um, the contacts if you want to clean them how to adjust it with the timing periods, um, talks about um, the resistance, volts, ohms, flashes per minute, and then you can usually get um, kind of a breakdown of the actual unit itself. Um, and again, it's usually it comes as a PDF, and then well, that's just a photo I took of my unit there for the manual here. But yeah, I'll put a link into the um, YouTube video to show um, just where you can get this information. If you do acquire one of these, uh, it's definitely helpful information if you're trying to wire it up or just want to kind of clean the unit yourself. Or, I'm sorry, clean the unit, um, take it apart. Um, so yeah, I'll put the link down in the description as well.